role do nonprofit organizations play in our local economy? I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me this hour is Andrew Swinney. He's the president of the Philadelphia Foundation. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having us. Nonprofit organizations do good work, as we know, throughout our community, but you say there's a large economic impact, a large economic benefit when it comes to nonprofits. There is. There is, Jill. Uh, we just completed a, a study aggregating the data about the, the nonprofits in the five county region. There are over 15,000 nonprofits registered with the state, of which 7,000 plus are really active. They employ a quarter of a million people, which makes the sector the third largest employer in the, in the region. Uh, their revenues are in the excess of $32 billion a year, which is as much as Comcast in, as, as a company. Um, and uh, because of those issues and, and the revenue and the expenses, uh, they have a huge impact economically on the community. But they also have uh, a, an impact because they provide a lot of the services and programs that drive economic development. I mean, if you if you ask the economic development people, Chamber of Commerce, whatever, they'll say they need a qualified workforce, they need a good quality of life to attract new okay. business. Well, who provides the, the educated workforce and who provides the quality of life? The nonprofit sector. They are the very fabric of the society in which we live and therefore the community benefit. What are some of the challenges that the nonprofit community is facing at this point? I would think many financial challenges in the, light of the economic conditions that yeah, individuals the, the, are facing. The, 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 certainly, the, the, the financial challenges created by the economic crisis uh, certainly have uh, ex exacerbated the problem. But the problem has always been there because the, the business model by which nonprofits operate uh, is, to one, use a phrase, flawed. Uh, it relies upon the charity of people, the willingness of people to give some money to help to provide a service. And yet we don't understand as a community that we community benefit. If, for example, uh, a, you, you support a homeless shelter, you're not only helping those who are homeless, you are also providing uh, the, co the community with less homeless people and therefore, uh, you know, the quality of life for all of us goes up. If, if you are providing a service uh, to uh, keep kids off the street and, and provide them with, with uh, you know, growth opportunities, then we, we avoid the, the issues that, that we can see when kids have nothing to do. So the community really benefits from those services beyond the, uh, the, the charitable contribution. So let's focus then a little bit on your organization that, that you represent, the Philadelphia Foundation. You mentioned the impact on the community. What kind of impact do you have, not only on a broad-based scale like we've been talking about, but on an individual level as well? Sure. well we're very fortunate that uh, as the repository for charitable funds set up by other people, uh, we have the opportunity to first of all engage people in supporting uh, the nonprofit sector. But we also uh, have, you know, and, and, and we give about $20 million a year out in grants to the nonprofit sector. But we also, uh, because of the, the, the way we are established, uh, we provide a cost effective way by which many people can become philanthropic. I mean, for you, you could set up a scholarship fund, for example, uh, at the Philadelphia Foundation. And because the economy is of scale, because we're sharing the expense across a number of people, it costs you less to operate that, that you know, to, to have that fund. You don't have to worry about the administration. All you have to worry about is the fact that you're giving a, a scholarship. We just have a few seconds left, but that idea of economy of scale, is that something that we're going to start to see more of in the nonprofit sector? I think we have to. I think that, that uh, you know, there are many people who say there are far too many nonprofits. Well, we don't know whether there are too many or not, but what we do know is that there are so many small ones that they do not survive well, in, particularly in the current economy. So yes, I think we will. Thank you very much. We've been talking with Andrew Swinney, president of the Philadelphia Foundation. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Newsmakers.